going guys, Angus here. Welcome to the Makers Muse Australia Day special. So I want to do this video outside because I just want to show you what January in Australia is like. So this is my garden. It's currently about 36 degrees and it's awful. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can because it's so sweltering hot. But yeah, so I wanted to make this video for Australians because 3D printing in Australia is you know, going, it's quite a big thing, but it's quite hard to find out about it. You know, the Australian companies aren't as big as, you know, their American and overseas counterparts. But there's a lot of really cool things happening in Australia in the 3D printing field that I wanted to talk about. So first is the titanium 3D printing. So that's a really big thing going on here. We've got a few different companies working on it. So CSIRO, they've got the RCAM facilities. So Chad Henry's sort of headlining that. And I had the pleasure of sort of meeting him at one of his presentations. So they're using this technology to do sort of really cool batch manufacturing in Australia and they're trying to encourage local uh, companies in Australia to consider titanium 3D printing as a viable option for their manufacturing. So they've been using it for stuff like sort of shark tags and sort of custom bike parts. And what was really cool is, you know, this girl sort of asked, wrote, wrote to them saying, oh, how's the CSI Road Dragon research going, which is really cute. So they did a titanium 3D printed dragon for her, which was really nice. So that was cool. And then you got the uh, ARC Centre of Excellence in Electro-Materials, I think that's how you say it, at the University of Wollongong in, in New South Wales. And they're doing some really cool stuff in, with titanium printing as well. So I had the pleasure of meeting Cinnamon Lee last year. So she's a jeweler who's been using 3D printing since sort of forever. And she did a collaboration with ARC to do some really interesting 3D printed titanium rings. So these things are like, they weigh nothing. They've got a really interesting lattice structure that couldn't be done any other way other than 3D printing. And that, that was just a really awesome sort of glimpse to the future of how titanium 3D printing could possibly be used. So that's the high-end stuff. What about sort of the ground level things that, you know, people want to get into 3D printing, how do you get into it in Australia? Well, we're very lucky to have a lot of awesome hacker spaces and maker spaces around Australia. So in Sydney, you've got the Robots and Dinosaurs hacker space. Uh, that's where I got started in 3D printing using their machines and their laser cutters, tools. And it's all just for sort of a, a really quite reasonable monthly contrib contribution. So they're still in Sydney. If you go visit them, uh, tell Gav, Angus says hi. Uh, and then Perth, you've got the Artifactory. They're an awesome makerspace, and they're actually currently looking for more members. So if you're at all interested in anything to do with engineering or artistic sculpture design or electronics or 3D printing, whatever, definitely go check them out. They've got heaps of cool tools, and they're looking for more members. And then there's the Australian companies in 3D printing. So basically, if you want to get something 3D printed, there's a lot of really good Australian companies that can do this for you. You don't have to go overseas to Shapeways or something. You can get it done actually here in Australia. So Advanced Manufacturing Services do SLS as a service. So you can get stuff quoted up, and it's really reasonable considering the machine's $800,000. And you can even book an entire build with them on their SLS machine. So that's, that's really expensive. But if you need lots of parts done very quickly of very high detail, uh, advanced manufacturing services are flawless in their, their attention to detail and quality, and they're really nice guys. And you've also got the Rapid Prototyping in Sydney. So Rapid Pro will do very high detail printing on their project machines. So if you've got sort of a figurine or very small intricate part you need done, Rapid Pro are really good. But Rapid Pro also do a uh, casting service. So you can use their wax printers. You send them a design, they'll, they'll print it in wax that investment cast it for you in a precious metal, all in one service. So, like for example, I got a, st a sterling silver pendant done with them last year, and it cost about $78 for everything. So that was the, the printing, the casting, and the, the delivery. So that's, that's awesome. So definitely give Rapid Pro a, a call if you're looking at doing any sort of jewelry work. And then I can't finish this video without talking about 3D printing studios. So I work at 3D printing studios in Fremantle, and pretty much what my job is, 3D design is hard. It's, you can't just get into it and just design something amazing straight away. You have to put a lot of effort into learning the programs and a lot of people don't have the time or patience to do that. So we take our ideas and concepts and sketches and turn that into 3D designs and then 3D print them into a prototype. So we also do machine sales, we sell filament from our retail store. So if you run out of, you know, whatever, ABS, black ABS on a Friday afternoon, you come in before five and we've got it and you can get, get print here over the weekend. So definitely check us out in Frio. And if you, while you're there, you may as well get a little creatures for beers because, you know, Perth has the best beers in the world, which is true. So that's about it. I'm going to go inside now. It's ridiculously hot and I'm going to have a beer and some kanga bangers, which are a real thing in Australia. And a few things about Australia. Yeah, nah, it means no. Nah, yeah, it means yes. And thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you here again on Maker's Muse. Bye.